there aren't a ton of albums that warrant spending a bunch of money on a deluxe box set. But for me, Dirt by Alice in Chains is one of them. Just got my hands on the 30th anniversary deluxe box set, and we're gonna open it right now on this episode of Talking About Records. My name is G.I. Sanders from MTX Vinyl, a small chain of independent record shops in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you're not local but you are in the U.S., you can shop online at ntxvinyl.com and would love it if you'd subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Follow us across social media at MTX Vinyl on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We are here to talk about dirt, or even more so, we are here to look at dirt, that being the 30th anniversary deluxe box set. I'm going to open it right now for the first time with you. Let's go. All right, folks. I am pretty excited about this. Um, it was late summer, early fall of 2022 when Allison Chains finally reissued Dirt, which was long overdue. It was out of print for uh, quite a while. So they reissued the 30, 30th anniversary 2LP, and they had a couple different colored versions, and then they also had this guy right here. Oh, pretty excited about this. I have not seen this um, at all, other than in some photos of other people receiving them. So I'm pretty excited. As you can see, a pretty nice box. Let's get that out of the way. And here we go. Pretty sizable set for sure. It's got an interesting, uh, interesting cover on it here, like a clear, uh, clear type of a shell. So let's uh, let's get into this and see what we got. Dirt is one of those albums for me that absolutely um, warrants spending this kind of money. I think this was almost three hundred dollars retail. Um, they were limited, I think, to three thousand copies. It's just one of those albums that, for me personally, I'm happy to spend money on. Okay, what is going on here? We've got, oh my gosh, we've got <laughs> some sort of uh, what's supposed to be dirt, I guess, on the, uh, the shell here. That is really interesting. Okay, let's see what this is going to look like. All right, let's see if we can uh, get it out of its case here, which... Um, all right, I see it's a flip from the bottom. All right, so we've got a, a nice flap with a, a magnet on the bottom. Oh, wow. This is uh, very unique. Very well done. Um, there are lots of box sets that come in pretty standard packaging. This is not one of them. What do we have here? Um, this is a... Uh, all right, so we've got our flap here, which is always nice. We're just going to get the majority of the items out. So let's take them one at a time. This is a very heavy-duty padded styrofoam and this is uh i'm not sure if that's supposed to come out or not oh yeah it does come out there's a hole on the back side so look at this you've got a uh charm i guess i don't know what else to call it of the uh the cover photo very very again unique for sure all right now it looks like we'll get into some uh nice logo package the aic logo on here and a bunch of memorabilia type items. Let's see what we've got. So we've got some replica set lists. We've got a uh, replica dirt like type of backyard, backstage pass type of thing. We've got a uh, replica promotional photo from the dirt era. Here we go. Replica show poster from uh, the Salem Armory. Salem Armory doesn't have the date on it, but let's see what else we got here. Here is one from September 17th, uh, Melody Ballroom. These are pretty cool. I love seeing this old stuff, even if they're replicas. It's just awesome to see. All right, this one is uh, 
Another one from the Melody Ballroom with Mookie Blaylock. Obviously, formerly Mother Love Bow. Soon to be Pearl Jam. Here's another one. These are just really, really cool to see. All right, so that is the lithograph package. Now we've got a booklet, which, oh, I'm sorry, this is a poster. So we've got a fold-out poster, promotional photo from the era on one side, and of course, a very large version of the album cover. All right, next up, how about some more visuals? This is another uh, kind of pack of, I guess, lithographs, I will say. Let's see if I can get them out of here. There we go. All right. These are really cool. All right. So you've got original artwork representing some of the songs. That's the rooster. Sun Eater. Let's see. Or uh, just uh, rep representing not necessarily the songs, but themes from the album alone. So that's really cool. We have the LP itself. This is, um, I believe, a yellow vinyl. I will open that here shortly, but first let's look at uh, what else we got here. All right, so now we got the heavy duty book. I'm trying to see which way this goes so you can see it. Plenty of orange. All right, so here we go. This is going to be uh, fun to look through. Tons of photography, which you would expect. Really nice heavy stock on the book and the packaging and everything that we're looking at here is all really well done, which again, you would expect you're spending a couple hundred dollars on this. So it better be top notch as far as the uh, production and the manufacturing is concerned. So that'll be, uh, that'll be cool to look through this as I spin the album. So you got the booklet. We've got a uh, copy of the CD. I haven't owned one of those in many, many years, but used to play play the heck out of it. All right, and now we've got some seven inches. These are cool. So you've got wood. This one is on, uh, ooh, man, look at that. That's cool. Very, very cool. Kind of uh, etched vinyl, them bones. So let's see, we've got, uh, looks like just single tracks and then almost, they're not, I don't know if they're etchings or just kind of almost like a pick disc thing on the uh on the b side so it's just a single track angry chair on uh green we've got rooster on yellow that one's pretty cool so just a really fun package you know i mean for someone like me who loves this album and can geek out on this stuff here's down in a hole um totally worth it so those are really awesome all right so let me uh take a look i'm pretty sure the uh the lp itself is uh orange or yellow vinyl be real careful here not to uh damage anything let's see what we got should be two lp yeah two lps got the uh insert of course and here you go orange translucent vinyl. They also sold this version standalone um, from the Allison Chain store, I believe. Also, I think maybe the Walmart version one's orange as well. So that's going to be a standard. And, uh, and there you go. So a really heavy duty box, some cool seven inches. Um, those are, I think, probably the highlight for me, all on colored vinyl, as well as the booklet um, and all of the lithographs and the poster. So um, pretty neat package, very unique box, and something I'm going to really enjoy diving into uh, right after I'm done filming this, in fact. So there you go. I appreciate you guys watching my quick unboxing of the 30th anniversary edition of Dirt by Allison Chains. We will see you again next time on another episode of Talking About Records.